Chưa hết Are you all right? Okay. I'm sorry. Oh. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. I just wanted to see that you could do it, that's all. You okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Why, dear? I didn't mean to. What do you think? I don't know. I got the house all planned in my head. No stairs, just ramps. All the kitchen stuff built low to the ground, even the bathroom sink two feet high. I can't have kids, you know, Dick. I figured that. I don't have any feeling from my neck down. So I don't know about making love. It's not all it's cracked up to be. He'd want more than me. Couldn't handle it. No, you'd get tired of it. You go off doing loop de loops in your airplane. No, 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 no more. I'm going to get a job. I can't do that to you. Oh, for Christ's sake, somebody's got to do it to me. What is it? Now, uh, you tell me, what? why are you fighting this? I don't know. There must be something. Something to keep me from being so useless. Seems like you and me got the same problem. Wipe my nose. Okay. Only if you love me. I do. Honestly, I do. I am going to build that house, okay? Oh, hey, it turns out you don't want it, then I'll just find some other gimp to move in, that's all. Okay. <laughs> you hear something? It's a school bell at the Indian Reservation. What kind? Hi. You know anybody down there? No. We had a couple kids in grammar school, but uh, they stayed mostly to themselves. Yeah. Yeah, they usually do. Why is that? Well, you ever been down there? No. You mean you've lived in this town all your life and you've never been down there once? Right. Well, I think it's about time that you got down there, then. <clears throat> I don't understand it. Why doesn't somebody help them? I guess everybody's busy enough trying to figure out their own lives. Why do they stay in this place? Why don't they leave? They got nowhere else to go. The problem is teachers, Jill. There just isn't any money in teaching in an Indian reservation. So all the good ones go down to places like... Los Angeles. That's not fair. No. Lots of things are unfair, honey girl. Well, I at least had a chance. I mean, those people don't have a chance at all. Mom, Dad, Dick, let me fly his plane. What? I did not. Don't you go get me in trouble. I didn't, I swear. <laughs> Checking her out? Take her out. Where to? Home, I guess. Are you leaving? Well, you didn't expect me to stay forever, did you? <laughs> Just gonna be for a little while. Jill? Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> I'm so fast. You're gonna 
get rehabilitated, I'm going to build that house. And then in the springtime... The spring, you, the farm. They say that every winter. The heck? Will you stop it? You're going to make me cry, too. Oh, it's good to have friends owing that to make you cry. Huh? Not everybody's got friends that do that, you know. Okay, you're gonna be all right now. You're gonna be all right. You're gonna be all right. Shh. 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 Relax. Relax now. Relax. Relax. Be easy. Shh. I'll be back soon. Be back soon. Be back soon. Okay? You okay? You okay? Okay? like a rehabilitation center as it is a great big party. <laughs> She's our best recruiter. Oh, wait, you meet the other livings. They're fantastic. Fantastic is the word. Well, they're a little weird at first, but once you get to know them, they're really great. <laughs> Guys, this is Jill. Jill, this is Kenny, Cookie, Neil. Welcome to the circus. Bill, George, uh, Pat, and there's Willis and Lee, Lisa Droga. Bill, did you see that, Cass? Yeah, no, I didn't. It was Willie Mays. Oh, that Duke Snyder. Can you see Duke that? Duke Snyder. Willie Mays. Duke Snyder, right? Over the shoulder, right over the shoulder. Over the shoulder. Oh, no, it was Duke Snyder going back on the center field. Can't you tell the difference between a black man and a white man? Yeah, right. Yes, oh, I can, man. That's why I say it was Willie Mays. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Jill was a famous person. Did anyone here know that? What'd you do, Jill? Oh, nothing, really. She had her picture on the cover of Popular Mechanics magazine. Yeah, yeah, she was Gip of the Month. <laughs> what are you going to do now? Oh, I don't know. Um, try to be useful. Useful how? Um, uh, try teaching or something. And after that, she's going to go learn how to be a brain surgeon. <laughs> she skied. She was America's hope for the Olympics. If you can strap skis on that thing, go ahead on and go back to skiing. Come on, Jill, say something. Maybe she can't do nothing without the press around. You know, all that notoriety. Jill, on the basketball court, we really thought we were somebody. And we'd beat a team. We'd come off the court, we're really happy. And the one guy on the team would always remark, he says, what are we so happy about? All we beat was a bunch of crips. <laughs> <laughs> this is really beautiful, this chair. I really love this chair. This beautiful world. Wait a minute. She's only been here for a couple of...